Hey everybody, well, I'm back at that bait pile where I caught a wolf yesterday. Or not bait pile, but I just had some scraps thrown in there. And right, right there, just on the other side of that log, you see the big tar up spot is where I caught that wolf. Right here is where I got my bait nailed up to a tree and right here my 330 is missing I come over here I can make I can hear some kind of noise over here so I got my 22 let's see what we got here Holy shit, there's a lynx right there. You can't make them out. Look at this batch of Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that shot. But wow. That's a lynx. He's got my 330 on him. Where does he got him? Where did I catch him? Oh, right by the pad, paw. Zoom in there. I give him one right between the eyes. And this is an area I chopped for a long time. And you can see one of my very old boxes. Sorry about the zoom, that box. I put this one up there probably, oh, four or five years ago. Good little spot. Big timber. There's a creek that flows just right over there. Um, that's crazy. I just, I, I did not expect to get a lynx here at all. Like that's just blows my mind. Is he done? Is he done, kitty? Oh, and look at that! I just pulled it right out of the trap. He was that close to getting away. Did you see that? I just gave it a little bit of a tug. Wow, that was close. Yeah, he's done. All right. But, uh, oh, sorry about the <laughs> wonky camera angles and the finger. But, yeah, that's awesome. That's uh, Lynx number one on the season. A front paw catch. Not a real big one. Really pretty brown yet. It's got some nice spots on them. That's no, not too bad. All in all, Nice cat. Um, this is the same spot. I just picked up that black wolf yesterday. And um, also the the same spot I picked up that one mink out of this exact same 330 though on that set there. Um, it's a leaning pole set. It's the same kind I used last year to catch lynx. And it, it seems to work. I like them. They work pretty good. They got some in the 330. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm thrilled I can't believe it I actually caught a Martin earlier today I wasn't expecting to I just ran in there real quick I was just kind of move some traps around and uh, he actually while I was running up to get him he I, I actually watched it go right into the trap so by the time I got to him he was just doing his last little bit of kicking and I didn't get any footage of it because I didn't put my camera in my pocket so either way got ourselves a nice little links right on well, I'm just back where I got that lynx. Um, I just got my set remade. See, all I do is just throw a little bit of spruce over top of it. And then uh, I cover the trap. So basically when he comes up, that's all you're going to see. Same like any kind of running pole, except this is a bigger one. So 
equipment for the three uh, Lynx, um, Fisher, and Wolverine. That's uh, that's kind of how I make my sets. I haven't got the time. I haven't had the time yet to do the grandpa set like I was said I was going to do. Um, it takes a bit to do it because you got to actually get quite high up in the trees, about 12 foot in the air anyway. But once the initial time is put in on the trap then when you come through it's, it's you're not remaking sets all you're doing is just replacing your snare and whatever baits there um that's one of the one of the added bonuses about that particular set and i wasn't planning on going after links quite this early in the season but well if he just hits your traps there's nothing you can do about it i guess uh, i'll take him any day of the week though anyway i'm gonna carry on i got Two more traps I gotta pull out here and then uh, I'm keeping my bait stations up this way. I'm just moving my Martin traps. Just not productive enough for me. All right, talk to you later.